Going into it, Battlefield Stage One. Okay, so is this uh, uh, Thulius versus Ego Sand? Oh, Thulius and Ooh, okay. I want to see. I want to see how. Be a fun one to watch. Now, Ego Sand plays an amazing Ganondorf. I, I am, in, I am very impressed. Uh, but um, I want to see the Mewtwo. I want to see the Mewtwo uh, play style right here. So it looks like we're seeing a very aggressive Mewtwo already right off the bat. Oh, oh my goodness, that was a perfect roll read into up smash. If Mewtwo were Jigglypuff, that would have been a KO. Would have been dead in a half. Oh no! That has to be the most devastating way to die. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable! You just got a warlock punch after you were disgraced! What a set! You what have brought, set. you have restored the Hyrule name! <laughs> Shout outs to free doubles, guys. Oh, oh my goodness. I, this, this game has made me very happy to watch Ganondorf play. Because I do not see any good Ganondorfs who can pull off a Warlock Punch, especially against a character like Mewtwo. Oh boy. So, this match, other than the immense hype levels that we're having, we're definitely seeing a... Uh, oh, trying to ledge cancel. I think, I think there was a ledge cancel attempt right there. Definitely seeing a lot... Uh, I really want Ganondorf to win right now, just because I want to see Ganondorf beat Mewtwo. Like that, that's something that can go into the record books. Ganondorf, oh, that'll be it! So is this a hard matchup, I take it? Oh, Ganondorf's one of the worst characters in the entire game. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, he's not the worst, but he's like t he's easily bottom five. I think Jigglypuff is the worst character. Your tier list is pretty great. No, it's the same thing except for the middle. The the top and the bottom are the same, and every tier list in the middle is okay. just the middle. Nobody really knows what's going on. But it's the middle. Like everybody knows who the best and the worst characters are, and then you kind of just mix and match it up a little bit based off of how you play people and how other. I, I literally put the mid tiers in random. Oh, uh, that's why. That's why Robin. Yeah, Robin's so low, dude. Like, like, like. Yeah. All right, so we got a game two. We're going to game two. Where are we going? Are we going back to Battlefield? I can see the run back. I. Thulius has to feel like he did not deserve that loss. Yeah, Thulius. Thulius is um. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how Thulius is. I've never played him, but um, I, I would like to see him do better against Ganon in this matchup. Let's see if Ganon can come back and win once again at Battlefield. Oh, out of nowhere, we get a forward smash. That'll be enough to uh, get a 25% damage. Go for the shield break. Not enough to break the shield because the second part of his uh, Warlock kick missed. Wizard's foot. I don't know why I said Warlock kick. Oh, 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 he couldn't punish the uh, miss, uh, miss ledge recovery. I don't think we've seen that. One of these characters is at kill percents, that is so true. Oh, Thulius is, oh, oh boy. Thulius is really trying to get the uh, meteor smash off stage, and he's trying, he's, <laughs> and the boots, the boots. It's simple f -zone. The boots, the boots will get it. All that interaction oh. just for one measly episode. It's and again we have an exchange of stocks. Both at zero percent, just like in game one. Let's see how they do it. Perfect shield. Oh and how how devastating is that when you when you perfect shield the fully charged shadow ball and then you get hit by the by the weak one. Oh Mewtwo's Um Mewtwo Mewtwo um Mewtwo's air dodge is devastating. It's one of the hardest air dodges to read in the game. That and Game and Watch. Uh, Mewtwo and Game and Watch. Game and Watch when he's the white version is very hard to read. We talk about the fact that Game and Watch is still in the game. Game and Watch is is viable. He's yeah. not great, no, but, but just the fact that he's still making entries into Smash Bros is hilarious. It's great. I I think Game and Watch is a good character. 
But in this case, um, let's see if Ego Saiyan can get back stage control. He's in center stage, so we're in a pretty good neutral area right now. Ego Saiyan's definitely held center stage very well for the entirety of this set. Yeah, he's pretty. Mewtwo's pretty much at kill percent because of how light he is and Ganondorf's immense strength. It's very scary. Definitely seeing Thulius move around a lot now, but... Yeah, Thulius is, is doing a much better job in terms of getting around the stage and yeah. not trying to... Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, I think he's got a chance. He's got a chance to recover. No! And we're going to game three! Oh... Why would you recover with side B? He was trying for the cheese. Oh, he was trying, for the cheese. trying for the Ganon side. He was going for the. He was going for the cheese. <laughs> That's alright. I haven't commentated seriously for this game ever. <laughs> I've just been saying about uh, how things are not related to melee. No. How they're not melee. This is not melee That's doubles. Not melee. This is not melee free doubles. This is also not free doubles. Shout out to free doubles. <laughs> free doubles hype. That's the other thing I've been saying all night. So Ego saying Thulius, I play the winner of this actually. Oh, all right, Fun facts. Alright, alright. Let's uh let's roll through what you've missed so far. I don't know. Were you watching the first two games of this set? I saw the first game. Okay. Ego saying won game one. You saw the uh the hype madness that was game oh, one. Yeah. Thulius ran it back game two. He... I was saying he the didn't... battlefield? Yeah, 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 ran it back to Battlefield, one, ba one on Battlefield. You can okay. definitely tell there was a bit of salt in that run back, too. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's a very interesting matchup between these two because Ego Saiyan is definitely playing more zone control based, and very defensive, throwing out his moves in a calculated manner. And Julius is trying to aggro him. Well, it's pretty easy to do that against the Ganon. Right. But then you gotta be careful because the moment Ganon reads you, yeah. you're gonna take like 40, Ganon 50 percent. gonna punish you so hard. <laughs> Just like that. With that F smash doing like insane amount of damage. And with Ganon being such the hard hitter that he is, he's gonna live here, forever. He's already a kill percent. <laughs> he's light, yeah. Almost lighter than Jigglypuff. Almost. Oh, the down air. That up air safely getting on stage, knocking him away from the ledge. Ooh, come to the start. I kind of want to see a grab. The jab grab? Yeah, or even even if you exclude the grab, the jab, I should get the grab. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's because I don't know as much, but I feel like the grab is going to lead to such a better punish. Well, Maybe at this percent, not so much. Oh, almost getting the Ganon side. That was kind of an awkward in between percent where a grab from Mewtwo wouldn't have killed, it wouldn't have led into anything. Grabs aren't strong in this game, I take it. Not too strong, no. Disappointing. If you play melee, you might be surprised. <laughs> yeah, absolutely that, uh, would be surprised. Um, Mewtwo's up throw is his kill throw. No, yeah, that's, that's the same in melee. Really? Yeah. I thought it was his combo throw. No, 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 no. Up throw is his only saving grace. Oh, okay. All the fact that it's stupid slow. <laughs> so if I were Thulius right now, I'd be trying to play extremely safe. Because Ganon's just going to kill you with one back air. It looks like Julius wants to go in. Who wants to seal out the stock? I definitely, I definitely think I would disagree though. I think Julius should just stick to his game plan. He played super aggro game one too. Game one was a fluke at oh. best. But game two, it definitely worked. On uh, that will be it. Stage spike's gonna do it. 